story called the Shavatar. The Shavatar refers to the ten incarnations of Lord Vishnu to destroy evil from earth and to restore the Dharma. So who's ready to flip the page with me? The first avatar is Matsya avatar, meaning the fish. Once upon a time, there lived a virtuous king named Satya Vrata during Satya Yuga. He ruled over the ancient Dravida kingdom. It is said that he was a wise and devout man. He worshipped Lord Vishnu and was engaged in penance for thousands of years. One day, King Satya Vrata went down to a river to perform his morning prayers. To begin his prayers, he cupped his hands bowed down to the river to receive water in them and then raised his hands above his head in order to give Aruga to Lord Vishnu. Unknowingly, a small fish came into his cupped hands along with the water. In order to let, let the fish escape, King Satyavrata again bowed to the river, but to his surprise he heard a voice. O oh, virtuous king, I am in danger. The king looked around but found no one. Alarmed, he looked into his hands and realised that it was the fish which had been speaking. King Satyavrata asked the fish, Little fish, how is it that you can speak? The small fish replied, Don't be surprised, my lord. I have been blessed with this ability to talk. But please listen to me first. O oh, mighty king, have mercy on me. Please save me, as my life is in danger. Do not throw me away. Please give me shelter, as I am a small fish, and the bigger fish might eat me if I stay in that river. The virtuous king pondered for a while. Oh, this poor little creature, who must be in real danger from its enemies. I have to give it a safe place to live. Without much ado, King Satyavrata took the fish home and kept it in a jar. For some days, the fish happily twirled in the jar. But one day, the king was shocked to see that the fish was unhappy, as it could not move because of its sudden growth in size. It had, uh, it had outgrown the size of the jar in which it had kept. So the kind king shifted the now big fish into a tank. Now the fish could easily breathe and thanked King Satyavrata. After a few days, the fish became even bigger in size and outgrew the tank as well. The fish then pleaded with the king, saying, Oh, great king, I can't breathe. This tank is too small. King Satyavrata was again shocked and hurriedly took the fish to the lake. Being in the lake was blissful for the fish. It could easily twirl and breathe now. A few days passed and King Satyavrata visited the lake to see the fish. To his dismay, the fish was unhappy again and was crying in pain. It had gulped all the water of the lake. Now, the size of the fish was even bigger than the height of the king and it occupied an enormous area. Utterly shocked, the king now asked for help of his countryman and made provisions to safely transfer that fish to an ocean. Even after transferring the giant fish to an ocean, the fish was still unhappy. With each passing day, the giant fish seemed to grow more and more. With a flash of lightning, the wise king Satyavata realised that this was no ordinary fish. He reverently bowed in front of the fish and asked it, Now I have realised that you are not an ordinary fish. Please tell me, who are you? The fish replied, O oh, king, you always wanted to see me, and now you can't recognise me. I am your lord Vishnu. I have come here to assign an important task for you. With teary eyes, Satyavata asked, My lord, what can I do for you? The fish said, In a few days, the Satya Yuga is going to end. With tremendous rain, water from the ocean will slowly flood to land. Thus, all the living creatures on earth will perish forever. I want you to build a large ship and collect seeds of each species of plant. Also, collect animals along with good humans. 
during the time of the flood, get on the ship with all the species and your family. I will appear in the Matsi River. Tie your ship to my nose with Vasuki, the king of the serpents, as the rope and lead the ship to safety. A perplexed king Satyavata asked Lord Vishnu, Lord, why will you come to earth in Matsyaravata? The giant fish said, My dear Satyavata, my task is just not to save you all. I have a greater task, which is to kill Hayagriva. With wonder, King Satyavata asked, Who is Hayagriva, my lord? The, Al- the Almighty in the form of the giant fish explained, he is a demon. One day, when Lord Brahma was sleeping, Hayagriva stole the Vedas from him. Later on, the demon ha- hid himself at the bottom of the ocean, along with the Vedas. Once the water from the ocean submerges the land, I will kill Hayagriva and recover the Vedas from him. After explaining this, the giant fish vanished, leaving King Satyavata in deep thought about the task assigned to him. Without much ado, King Satyavata began the task of building the ship and collecting the seeds of each species of plants, along with animals and good humans. As forecast, a thick cloud stood, gathered, and it started to rain torrentially. Water from the oceans submerged to the entire earth. King Satyavata took his family along with the different species to the ship. He tied the ship to Vasaki and, got, and get set sail. Even amidst heavy downpour, the ship sailed swiftly and did not sink, as the giant fish was carrying the ship on its back. The fish was Lord Vishnu's Matsir avatar, which took the ship safely to the Himalayas. While the land was flooded with water, the ocean got emptied. Matsya was able to find Hayagriva easily, which was followed by a stiff fight. The demon was killed easily. The stolen Vedas were recovered from him and taken back to Brahma. The seeds which were brought on the ship by King Satyavata were there dispersed on earth. Thus, life resumed on earth. Hope you enjoyed the story. My favourite avatars are Lord Krishna and Narasimha. Do you have any favourite avatars? I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye!